Your job is to freak out a Walmart cashier by only buying three items. What do you buy? I had a teacher who was chaperone on a class trip once. Apparently one kid got so drunk he wanted to use a bagel bag. Wouldn't plastic wrap and duct tape be more expensive than a box of condoms? They said scotch tape which is cheaper. I was going to say pretty much the same thing, but water balloons and rubber bands. It would work better. Bonus points for putting the condom on the cactus right by the cashier after paying. Always wrap your prick. I spoke in the car about the hole at the center of this donut. And yes, what you and Harlan did that fateful night seems at first glance to fill that hole perfectly. A donut hole in the donut's hole. But we must look a little closer. And when we do, we see that the donut hole has a hole in its center it is not a donut hole at all but a smaller donut with its own hole, and our donut is not a hole at all. That movie was such a pleasant surprise. A pack of Pampers, some baby milk, and a bottle of vodka. Then discover I don't have enough money, so put the milk and Pampers back, just by the vati. Worked at a 7-11 and watched someone put back milk and diapers when they couldn't afford them alongside their scratch tickets. I was floored. Laxatives, plunger, biggest pack of toilet paper they sell. I hope for your sake that is is not from experience. As a Walmart cashier, I can guarantee that I only care about what you buy if I have to ID you for something, but some of these answers are intriguing. Which ones do you think are best? I thought the one with the photo, etc. was the creepiest. A a bathtub plug, a toaster, and an extension cord. The old bath bomb. Shotgun, ammo, and I'm sorry for your loss card. Edit, switch handgun to shotgun as Melee Order Bride has pointed out they don't sell handguns. Ammo, condoms, sorry for your loss. We used to play this game in college. Biggest yikes we ever got was a coloring book, children's nighttime cough syrup, and a pack of condoms. To me this reads as my kid is sick, but my partner and I still have plans to fuck tonight. 3 Ps Placed ever so gently, 3 inches apart, on the conveyor belt. Be sure to scream they're no longer aligned when the cashier starts up the belt. Pregnancy test, coat hangers, and trash bags. Make sure to get wire hangers. Those plastic ones don't work nearly as well. Pull-up bar, stepping stool, and some thick rope. When you do this say it's exactly what it looks like and I blame you. I was a cashier at a popular pharmacy chain. One of my very first customers bought a kid's video, a dog bone, and some condoms. I was thinking, this is either fun for the whole family, or this guy is into some really kinky shit girlfriend had a kid and a dog. He wanted to distract them both and get laid. Good planning. Personal lubricant, duct tape, zip ties. Sub out zip ties for teddy bear, and it gets just that more fucked up. True story friend's co-worker was on his way to visit his girlfriend who had a dog. He stops at party store and buys whiskey, condoms, and dog treats. Good boy Fido. Go to Walmart with a young child, buy a back-to-school backpack with their favorite cartoon characters on it, a large hunting knife, and a collapsible gun, do Walmart sell guns? I'm assuming they do, that fits inside the backpack. Come up toddy counter with everything in the backpack, and make some comment about back-to-school season being a real killer, then pull out your items for the cashier to scan. Sledgehammer, baby oil, pack of cigarettes, actual purchase and the face did not disappoint. A bottle of painkillers, an X-Acto knife, and a book on how to preform a circumcision. Your local Walmart has some weird books. Visine, super glue, and the book The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. It's a good book why ruin it? When you mix fuel, metal oxide and metal powder in just the right way, it burns at 2000 degrees Celsius. Hot enough to cut through nearly any barrier known to man. Throw some C4 into the mix and you've got one hell of a combination. Rainbow Six for the win. 
I open the toilet paper and remove three individual sheets and ask for a discount because I know it won't be a messy one and don't need the whole roll. Two large bottles of vodka and a how to drive for dummies book. A spoon, cereal and bottled water. I tell the cashier that this particular bottled water is best with cereal. Similarly, Digiorno, Red Baron and a pineapple. Black grocery bag, caustic soda, stain remover. Happy cake day. Duct tape, blonde wig and a glass eye. They don't sell glass eyes at my Walmart. Donuts, Astroglide, and anything random for the third one. My buddy and I saw a dude buying that and we didn't say anything in line, but I was silently wondering, is he going to fuck the donuts, glaze them, or both? As soon as we walked out the door, my buddy asked the same question aloud. Three items that Walmart doesn't sell. My mom and I tried to buy an ice cream maker from Target, but it wouldn't ring up at the register. Turned out someone had bought it at Kmart and returned it to Target. I guess what I'm saying is I've done this, and it caused quite the disruption to a few employees' workflows.